I'm no doctor, but I think that he might maybe quite possibly have mesothelioma after that. That man just fatality himself with a pole at a park. I haven't seen somebody's head whip back and forth like that since that Willow video. That that man, he sounded like he was gargling mashed potatoes. He's a goner. What would y'all do if you was offered seven hundred million dollars to snitch on your friend? Oh, he and that bitch for sure. But that's life. That's what all the people say. You're riding high in April, and now you're getting stabbed down the cell block. See, listen, I know I am the most trustworthy and respected person in my friend group. Everybody comes to me for advice, and, and I try to steer my homies in the right direction at all times. That's what a real friend does. And so if you did something that made you end up in prison in the first place, 10 times out of 10, I advise you not to do it, and you didn't listen. So now you got some time to think about your life choices, you know what I'm saying, reevaluate some things, and hopefully when you get out, you know, you can live a better life, and I'll make sure that you can with all this money that I got now. Money. This how your hands be when you get beat up in your dream, but that's how you swing right there, boy. Be fighting a lowercase, man. No punches with wet tissue paper, boy. Soft to hell. Would you punch me in the face for one million dollars? Come on now, Jake. I'd rock bottom my own grandma for a million dollars. You pay me a million dollars, I'll hit you with the primary lotus. I guarantee it. I stand by it. There's about ten soap dispensers missing. Okay? Five doors. 20 toilets. Alright, I ain't condoning what they doing, but how the hell you let somebody steal 20 toilets? They uninstalled 20 toilets and didn't nobody see nothing. Them not even toilets no more. Them porta potties. How do you allow somebody to steal a door? Take a second and imagine the Looney Tunes type shit they had to do to get away with that. But it was probably standing in the hallway with the door like this. Somebody knocked on it. He opened it up, let him walk through, closed it back. They kept going like ain't nothing happened. Stay with The soap dispensers, I understand. But if you let somebody steal 20 toilets and five doors, you probably deserve to be robbed. I need to get some cameras, some security guards or something, because there ain't no way nobody... You probably need some bifocals, some glasses. I got some. You can use mine. I hate wearing them anyway. But I'd be fed up, too, because with 20 toilets going, I only imagine somebody out there in them sticks getting it popping with them leaves, because cause ain't no way. The most important things uh, to get the most tender steak possible is you just got to let it sit. I knew I shouldn't have trusted Jay. I asked him when we were going to the butcher. He said no. He guaranteed it. But I should have known he was lying because he didn't stand by it. Now I'm sitting here waiting to be tenderized and seasoned. By somebody who's only gonna cook me on both sides for two seconds. You know, I'm realizing now the trust in Jake was a mistake. Draco, Draco, big Draco, 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 big Draco. Yeah. Ten chains on, nigga, I'm a nigga. Came out the LA County jail with a hundred million. Yeah. Draco, Draco. <laughs> hey, soldier, go ahead and crank that volume down. Boy, that shit was trash. Come on, man. You out here rapping like the beat was in sign language and you not fluent. Boy, stop it. Ma'am, I'm not a monkey, though. You look, you ordered the daddy from one. Nah, 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 that guy wouldn't even put me in that situation, man. He know I ain't done growing yet, because I ain't gonna lie to Who the fuck you, <laughs> you think you talking to, dog? Straight the monkey business in that bitch. Her freaky fairy face ass, her ancient artwork looking at. Matter of fact, I done cooked everybody in there. The motherfucker, Ruta Baker body built ass motherfucker in the back. You ain't had nothing to say. She called me a goddamn ape. Hey, anybody gonna speak? Well, I'm gonna get to speaking in any bit. He got down. <laughs> hey, her shirt was right, though. Black is more than the color. It's what she saw when she smacked the ground, too. <laughs> if you think I'm going anywhere near that grizzly bear Rottweiler hybrid, yo ass, stay it! That behemoth is connected to a petrified pine tree via a warship anchor chain, and you think I'm gonna go try to pet it for some money. I can put on every pair of bifocals that I own, and I still would never see that money. Best case scenario, that dog turned me into an ethnic toothpick. I'm straight. What is something that doesn't sit right with you? Dairy products. You know, I'm aware that I am lactose intolerant, but see, the problem is, my favorite dessert is ice cream. Strawberry swirl hits every time. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is busting, but you gotta have the milk. What's a hamburger without cheese? I have to have it, but I tell you what, I tell you what. When I get done eating it, I'm gonna let it rip like a blade blade. I guarantee it. I stand by it. Hey, dudes, don't even lie, bro. You know you got out of the shower one day, you know what I'm saying? You by yourself, you feel me? You try to get them. You know, you try to helicopter that thing, boy, I know it. Rice in here too? Mm -hmm. Dirty rice. Dirty rice, shrimp alfredo. I can tell just by the way that he ate that food. He probably thought he was poisoned with all that flavor he just got slapped with. I'm telling you, man, you can see it in his eyes. That boy was like, Oh, Father Abraham, what was that? By golly, that's the greatest thing I ever tasted. What'd you say was in there again? Huh? Seasoning? Okay, that's nice. <laughs> My boy really got to slide his little piggies into some yacht boats every morning. I heard that it was scissor hands. But that's Raekwon's ski feet right there. That man got two Home Depot pressure treated 2x4s for feet. 
I bet they love picking that man to kickball. Can you imagine jumping on a trampoline with that man, bro? I bet he be stealing drops like a motherfucker. I bet that man can kickstart the fuck out of dirt bike. I'd hate to be on the receiving end of a roundhouse kick from that man. I bet that man gotta tie two hoverboards together for each foot when he goes to the skating ring. You probably put a worm in between your toes and stick it down in the water before you go fishing to make sure there's enough fish in there. DIY surfboard foot eye. That man nickname was Fleet Foot Phil back in high school. I bet you that man's favorite hobbies is taking long walks on the beach and kicking the bark off trees in his free time. That boy probably got a job prying tires off rims with them feet. I bet they scan that man's shoe two times when he go to the shoe store. First person that got a north room for two designs on one foot. Damn! And my head hit the wall. Boom! But I had a friend grand He's gonna be alright. I know it because I don't think y'all realize how hard it is to break a windshield. That boy, that boy is the bronze kneecap by the cranium. That boy is the juggernaut. Boy, his head hard as hell. Brick head ass. Two hours later, your kidnapper returns you because you don't stop talking about what? You got to be stupid. If you thought you kidnapped me, nope, I am bored. I have no friends, so I figured I'd come chill with you. Hope you weren't expecting no ransom. Nope. Yeah, man. We're going to get real acquainted, though. You might as well go ahead and take that mask off. I know you ugly. You got to be. I feel like you got to be real unattractive to pick up kidnapping. You was getting rejected. You was like, hey, you know what? Nobody's going to pick me. I'm going to choose you. You thought you was Ash. You a Pokemon trainer. Yeah, well, back of your neck like a pack of hot dogs. You built like a bag of rutabagas. You could have been doing anything with your time, man. You could have been doing, I don't know, some neck ups, you know, head stands, something. Whip your hair back and forth. Your breath smell like septic tank and pork rinds. Breath smell like 40 ounces of bounce that. Boy, your breath kicking like kung fu. You want to kidnap somebody, boy. Kidnap some toothpaste, some mouthwash. Kip Mac a breath mint, something like that. Well, come a thief, steal some, steal some goddamn icebreakers. Well, 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 hello there, Jay. Hey, I was actually trying to find my way to the Krusty Krab, but instead, I found nothing but sandy cheeks, you know what I'm telling you? But I, I tell you what, I tell you what, if you tell me the secret to how to get one of these honeys, I'll give you the Krabby Patty formula, I guarantee it, I stand by it. I got too many hoes. I mean, if my calculations aren't correct, that right there is big head. Stop on top of the Spot that bill like my Oops. Oh my god. Well, if you look closely, you can see that the ancestors had became quite fed up with this young man and they struck him in the back of the head. If my chicken thigh does not create a nice little waterfall like this with clear. That chicken was pink. What's something that you learned in school that was a lie? They told me the biggest lie of them all. That I would utilize this information to go forward in my life. I ain't I had you none of it. All in high school they had me trying to find a value of X. And after two years of being in a relationship I left her. Oh child, they told me, you need to know your history or it's gonna repeat itself. And then all of 2020, I turn on the news and I see black people getting shot over and over did they not learn history all the people them tell me after we graduate go on to school so i and i can make big bread you know and probably like the rest of you as i listen to them and that damn covid pulled up and closed everything down hey but let me tell you let me tell you they told me that drugs and alcohol were not cool okay they said i dare you to be drug free so i listened but i guarantee you when they got home they were smoking that weed and drinking that energy i guarantee it i stand by it a lot. Neither am I! Damn. Put the lies. phone down, Braden. Hey, Braden, just a word of advice. You might want to look into getting like a bicycle or some healers or some shit. Because you don't want to ride that bus no more. <laughs> Looks like he's in Wow. That's exactly what it's like trying to shoot Wraith on Apex, bro. I swear it's ridiculous. And we're not going to slide past the fact that he missed that last swing and the joint still died, bro. That man hacking. Go! What is this, fam? Was my them eating an otter? I don't actually sound like that, bro. Was that man eating an otter, bro? Like, I'm actually concerned. Them joints is cute. Who eat otter meat, bro? And then why do we pull up and start beating a man meat like that? Whoa. It was good. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it was good. Uh, I don't know if I should tell you to watch your back or that you got 
He got off easy, because I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna ignore the signs. It looked like he was trying to get folded. Like, she said, okay, okay. And then she walked up, put the hand on top of the other one. That's primary. I'm finna sneak somebody right there. Every time somebody get jumped, it'd be a dude in the background walking just like that. Next thing you know, moink, you got hip side your head. So uh, I'm just saying, you should probably with one eye open. I hope you enjoyed your last drink, because it's probably the last one you're gonna get. Thank you for something, man. I don't think his 47 million followers appreciate him enough because he definitely care about y'all. That boy just gave himself multiple stages of diabetes. That's ridiculous. You don't want to talk no more about it in the past. Mm, we didn't have to, but we did it anyway. You know, something about the way you put them condiments on that napkin really just made me want to wish you the worst in life. But I'm not going to do that, though, because you're a fellow brother. But I am going to have to report you to the FBI because you have to be some sort of serial killer if you did that, dog. I, I feel like you're the type of person that put the milk in the bowl before the cereal. And that type of uncertainty that you tread life with, I just cannot, cannot be dealing with. Okay, Jay, let me make sure I have it straight. You didn't have a bowl, so you decided to take some aluminum foil, wrap it around his head. You compacted it, flipped it over, and then went on to serve this now lice elixir. I tell you what, I tell you what. You take one sip of that soup, and you're going to need some Dr. Scholl for your tongue. I guarantee it. I stand by it. You forgot to call me a Nick. You fucking love well done. Go ahead and eat your leather. Fine. Hello there, child. I'm getting real tired of you raw meat eaters talking like y'all better than everybody else. Because you cook your steak in a toaster for a few minutes. Y'all be cooking them steaks like y'all got caught by your mama in the middle of the night in that kitchen. Y'all probably don't even cook it in a skillet, do it? Y'all probably just put that thing straight on the eye like this. Boop. Boop time. And then, of course, here y'all go with the go-to joke. You know what? If you want to eat some leather, that's fine. You want to eat a pair of boots, that's fine. Like... I'd rather swallow a pair of black Air Force Ones than to eat that unbaptized baby calf. I know your steak uncooked when I can see the cell membrane on that motherfucker. Okay, if you just take a little poke right here, you'll see the Goki apparatus. I think we should all draw the line at medium well, you know, medium maybe. Medium rare, you're kind of pushing it. Anything above that and you might be a vampire. Tell me the biggest lie an adult has ever told you and when you figured out it was a lie. When I was a kid, my parents said, hey, Jake, you eat your carrots, you'll help your eyesight, okay? I said, all right. I devised a plan to restore my eyesight. I said, I'm going to eat carrots every day. I guarantee it. I stand by it. Now, I eat carrots out the can. I ate them whole with ranch. I like ranch. I even ate them fresh. They still had dirt on them. But God bless dirt, and dirt don't hurt. You heard what I'm telling you. Now, they began to call me Bugs Bunny because I ate so many. As a matter of fact, I was so desperate, I even ate the baby ones. May they rest in peace. But see, no matter how hard I work, I still couldn't see, so I took it up a notch. I grew out dreads, dyed my hair green, dug a hole in my backyard. I buried myself for two weeks, pretending to be a carrot. And I emerged, blind as a bat, moral of the story, don't eat carrots and don't have parents. What are you doing if I break it? Oh, yes, yeah, it's Joe Steel. Oh, these roaches are evolving. That big got on a snake skin. Chicken. For $500 million, but it's made from this adorable pig. You would have to be an absolute demon to eat that little baby pig, man. Let me get the motherfucking bacon naked cheese, please. I'd say you're the dumbest criminal that I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Don't you know I could have picked you out of a lineup with the hat still on? You look like Mega Mind in that hat, boy. You like Mojo Jojo in that hat. You like a beauty supply store mannequin in that hat, boy. You look like Lord Rex from Brawlhalla in that hat. I don't know why you thought burglary was a thing for you. It, it's a terrible idea. But you know what? I give you some props because when you took it off, it was not who I thought it was. It was the Crimson Chin. Boy, I'm finna save my ammunition, man. If you don't get your ass up out of here, man, before I get to cooking you, dog. What would you do if I broke into your house? You were a little sleepy on me. Now we have a problem. See, normally I'd grab the Thule and act the foolie, but I kind of like you. So, you clearly lost your mind And being the gentleman that I am. I said that I'd help you find it. Now I did some research, and the human head is only 11 pounds. So I acquired this bowling pin. 
Because you see, bowling balls can weigh up to 15 pounds. And this here bowling pin gets hit by those all day. And it's still in mint condition. So the question is, in what condition will you be in when we get done searching for what's left of your brain? Ah, oh, don't worry, child. We can get started for the party. Huh? Dance with me. Come on. Dance with me.